Hello and welcome to the Knit Nancy podcast. I am your host Valentina coming at you from just south of Richmond, Virginia. And yes, you can find me on various social medias listed down below as we as well as on Twitch Monday through Friday from about 2 p.m. I sometimes start a little bit earlier. So if you are interested, make sure to sign up with Twitch and uh, follow me. <laughs> get notifications uh, from about 2 to 4.30. 4.30 works better with my schedule than 5 does. So that's why that is that. And yeah, so I am recording later in the day, if you can tell. <laughs> that's why dog is barking, because he knows that there are people and he is wondering why people are not paying attention to him. And I've got... I've got a finished thing as well as something new I'm working on. So let's let's <laughs> let's get into this. So the finished thing, if if you have been following along, are my no shit socks. So here they are. I have put the newly finished one, which says no on it, on the sock locker. And here is my shit sock. Um, yeah, so I have finished them. They are knit in chromatic yarns on her sturdy sock in Flowers for Yasha. I, when I started the first one, was a bit wary about doing this, but I actually really like the outcome. Because I know they always say don't use busy yarns when you're knitting lace or cables or anything like this. I don't know, this just makes my heart happy. And I think that's what it really comes down to, is what what makes you happy. Considering I finished these socks in like no time, I think it's safe to say they made me happy. So yeah, there's the front. And because it's so busy, it obscures the pattern enough that like, I don't have to feel wary about showing it off. <laughs> And there's the back. Uh, as I have previously mentioned, I really like this because while they are a hint of uh, cheeky, naughty socks, it's subtle enough. This one's been sitting on the blocker since I finished it, so it has that shape a little bit better, whereas this one's been off the blocker for a bit. Um, so yeah, I like how they're subtle. Like, nobody's really going to realize what they say exactly. Um, unless you're really trying hard, and even then you might be pressed to figure it out. And yes, so the yarn is like a lovely cream base with all of these speckles of like black and various <coughs> rainbow colors. So there's a pretty good. Okay, we'll focus on it a little bit better. That'd be great. Yeah, pretty good example of some of the various colors. <coughs> Oof. I like ate dinner and now I just, I'm so much fun. I did a Turkish cast on, I believe is what it's called, where you take your yarn and you just wrap it around both of your needles. Um, and then I did a sewn tubular bind off and so my edges look real nice. I have pretty much just checked uh, tacked down the ends in the, the cuffs because that's all that really matters to me. They're my socks. And otherwise I pretty much followed well yeah I pretty much followed the pattern to a T. Very excited. Have not worn them yet but I am so glad to have them done and I'm so glad that I got to use a BFL base again. I very much prefer BFL to, to Merino. And, goodness, let me take a sip. We'll talk about the next thing. And next, what I have falling off the needles over here. 
is let me catch that stitch marker before it goes on an adventure and I can't find it. A second summer secret crop. Secret summer crop. That one by Jessie May. Whichever name it is. In Yarn Hero, <laughs> a color mix sock in radioactive, which uh yes, yes. I'm enjoying this far too much. So I think I'm knitting like the large or extra large. Uh, Trevor one is for like a 40 to 44 inch bust. I think that's how it's done. Uh, yeah, so I'm knitting that size. And yeah, so this yarn is like spin, spin cycle dyed in the wool where you have essentially a, I believe this one's a three ply. Yeah looking like three ply where you have a three ply yarn and while all three of the plies are the same colorway they are often oop that is not at all in focus geez louise there we go they are kind of marled together to give you all the color changes so this one the color colors in it are definite are obviously green, yellow, and then like browns. And I think it's quite lovely. So where am I at on this? I am <laughs> very close to done. Uh, I need to finish binding off this back end and then I'm on to doing the front. I think I'm going to do it as a halter neck like my last one because that's easier to adjust. I'm just doing a standard bind off on the back because while yes I need stretch I don't need nearly as much stretch as is called for and instead of I need more I needed more stretch at the bottom and less stretch around the back so I'm hoping I'm hoping I've managed to do that so yeah that's where this is at so this is close to done next time you see it it should be done and i probably will be working with some holst cotton i think this is cinnabar no brandy do you want to use the brandy and not my my charcoal right now uh, because the charcoal bleeds and this one does not so i'm probably going to end up using this next we will see we will see. I changed my mind. Get flighty sometimes and ooh, the, yeah. <laughs> so been really quick with this because I don't have a lot going on. And yeah. So I'll just keep working on this as we go on. So what what is my week been? The week has been a whole lot of uh, my washing machine dying. Okay, so so my washing machine didn't really die. A belt in the back came off and was sitting in a bad position, and so the washing machine was not working as it should have. Well, that problem has been solved because a belt has been ordered and should come in next week. The thing I've been waiting on, my big surprise package that I've been waiting on, I say it's a surprise, I know what it is, hasn't quite come in yet. Even though, according to Etsy, it should have already arrived. So I might, I might ask, or I, I might send them a message, we'll see. Um... And in, in the washing machine dying, but not really dying, uh, more of <laughs> taking a break, right? So it can be fixed. In that happening, man, my hair is real blonde. Uh, in that happening, I ended up going to Lowe's and we have a, a little bit of an insect problem. For a while there, we had just tons of flies. And I mean, we still get flies, but we don't have nearly as many but we have the mosquitoes that sneak in the house, which is 
equally not as fun and we have ants. And I was looking at plants because I really want to get a plant to put in the living room, but I keep getting told no, but it's a plant. What's the worst it'll do? Make your life slightly more joyful? Uh, yeah. I looked at plants and I noticed they had a set of, of carnivorous plants. They're dormant carnivorous plants, but they're carnivorous plants nonetheless. So I now have a Venus flytrap and a pitcher plant, which I am trying to grow up from these little dormant plants. And for now, like, yeah, it's going to take them a while. So by the time that they're probably actually going, we shouldn't have nearly as many bugs, but still having them is going to be better than nothing, especially because of all the ants that we get. And I'm hoping that the ant, they, they will be just as effective with ants as you think of for, like, other insects. So, that's where we're at with that. I actually just got those all situated. They're currently sitting in my dining room because it, they're right in front of a window with blinds down. Like, the windows in here, or the blinds are always down. But, uh... So it's in some, they're in some indirect light and they're nice and moist and ready to go. I have to pause where I'm at with this for right now. So there you go. Uh, oh, where's my little, I have a giant water bottle. my little gummy bear guy and I will stick him on here. Thankfully the gauge is so loose that it's not a big deal. There we go. That's about where I am. So next time uh, if it's not done he will have moved or he will move but if it is done he'll come off. But yeah, so I've got this top pretty close to done. And yeah, I've got my little plants going. I have to be careful with plants though, because if they're going to be in the living room, they have to be plants that if the dog bites into, it's not going to make him sick. Because uh, he, he will do stuff like that. He will bite things that are non-food items just to see what will happen. So I have to make sure that whatever goes out there is not going to make him sick. Oh, and he has a spa appointment. And I mean, he's a pit bull, so he doesn't have long hair. And he gets mouthy, but he's never... He's never biting to hurt you. He's biting because he's playful, but he also doesn't realize how big and how strong he is. But he's just going to go in. They're going to they're going to wash him, dry him, brush him, clip his nails. He needs his nails clipped, and he won't sit still long enough or keep his mouth away from me long enough <clears throat> to let me clip his nails and get his ears clean. Cause he, oh. For a dog whose ears stick straight up, he has some of the nastiest ears. But we we do what we can when we can. And that's not nearly as much as we would probably like. But he's got that coming up. But it's not this weekend. It's next weekend. So. I'm hoping that he comes back smelling good. And I, I get old next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Mm. <clears throat> I also have a dress fitting for my wedding dress next weekend. Oh, look. I've got to focus again. So I have a dress fitting next weekend. So next weekend's going to be busy. This weekend, not so much. I want to go... Friend is trying to pick out her wedding dress, so I'm going to go with her. And... I got kicked out of my video game earlier because the servers were going down because I was playing an online game. I've also been playing Fall Guys, just 
on my own and that whole their their current bidding to put a costume in is just I live for it I think as of recording this the last number I saw was four thousand two hundred four hundred twenty thousand sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents for from a bidet company <laughs> Um, so I got the 42069 going on and you have to have a good giggle from that because I raised Ninja Blevins 69 cents. That was, that was funny. So I'm looking around like there's something else to tell you about and there really isn't. Uh, so I think I'm going to go. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, stay home if you can. And until next time, fairly well.